All right, in Arkansas here, we got John Jr. We call actually call JJ, and he's found several items here around a campfire, and uh, looks good. We're getting started here, starting off a little slow, but uh, he's, he's already around the campfire. Found these items, and uh, then I found uh, my first uh, bullet find here. Was this uh, looks like a Cosmopolitan carbine, uh, 50 caliber. And uh, Doug, I know, has found a round ball, and John's found some assorted brass, so we'll get back to it and get with you hunting Arkansas. Here's John Freeman, veteran, Oklahoma relic hunter, and he has has rallied here and found three three ringers all in about what, John? Three foot circle? Another three foot circle. Yeah, all right, we're back to it. We see D Man heading down our way. There's no telling, he might have found an animal or something. All right, we're off. Well, D Man fans, finally we all got together. He's got a handful of stuff. I know he got a round ball, Doug. How many grommets? Three round balls, a couple of grommets, and a, I don't know what it is, and a, and a pocket knife. And a pocket knife. So Doug has done well. So it may be a brooch. Yeah, that looks like a brooch to me. But anyway, digging Arkansas. I'll be back with you in a minute. D Man said he wanted to find a. He wanted to find a. Said he found a round ball, but no, three of them not good enough. Had to find a three ringer. And he got a real nice one with a good patina. A lot of them are going to have a good patina, so that's going to clean up really nice. All right, D-Man fans, there you go. We're back to digging. Yay! John's got a good one, and I want you to see it. We measured, and it's a true 11 to 12, and he got a tie ring sharps. And there, we don't find too many of them down in Tennessee, but that's a nice one. That's where the paper went on and the string went in that groove. Nice one, John. We'll get back to it here. All right, here's the Arkansas party, and it, obviously it's deer season in Arkansas, so if anybody shoots one of our crew here, it's absolutely first-degree murder. Had a pretty good morning, started off slow, ended up pretty good. Everybody got a few bullets and other stuff, so we're going to going to take off and have it. Okay, uh, got me a three-ringer. The guys are a little distance from me, but it's a good drop on maybe a 54. But anyway, back to digging Arkansas. And of day one, had a pretty good day. Got some, uh, a lot of these uh, knapsack breads here, and uh, found a lot of that brass. And you got to dig them or you miss a button. No buttons or plates today, but uh, you know we had a had a good time, and, and uh, so we're expecting some rain tonight. So we're going to sign off and get out of here for day one. We're expecting rain tomorrow. We may not get to hunt for half a day. We don't know. All right, John. Right. What about it there, JJ? Yep. All right. Yep. All right. The uh, Arkansas Hunt Crew signing off for day one. Starting day two, got a uh, a fired round ball. We're all out here today. Uh, rain's supposed to move in around lunchtime. Yesterday it was up to 70 degrees. It felt like hunting in October, but we're starting day two. I don't know. We're scattered out, so I don't know what anybody else has dug. But get back to you in a few minutes. Digging Arkansas, day two. All right, day two, JJ. Here, digging Arkansas, got him a nice, uh, nice three ringer. Uh, one of the short boys there. Let's see, is that a 54 and got a what looks to be a lead seal? Yeah, that would be a 54 and got a lead seal. So there's the lead and there's the little wire sticking out of it of some kind. All right, we're back to digging, day two, Arkansas. Day two, Arkansas. D Man's got a couple that look like 44s. But these, the 44s here, have pretty poor patina on them. I guess because of the wet natured soil. But got two 44s and a little washer there. We're not sure what that thing goes on, and nobody else has ever been able to tell us. But anyway, got a little brass washer too. So we're back to digging, Yay. fighting, fighting the rain. Let's hear a little cheerleader, Doug. Yeehaw. John Freeman came through with some good finds this morning. On up in the morning, he got a bat wing. It's a tip off of a uh, off a carbine sling and a 54 and a keyhole cover and another fired one, but that's a nice one, John. That is a nice one. That's a that's a thinner style. Uh, there are differences between the Union and Confederate, and this is a dual use area. All right, John's back to digging, digging Arkansas. Okay, we had a, about a two and a half hour rain delay. Some thunderstorms passed through and uh, dug two or three bullets here. This is the third one. And it's a small one. It's, I don't think it's even a 54. But anyway, got to measure that one. 
and see what it is. But everybody's finding some stuff, and JJ found a, a lead end of a lead bar where they cut off to make bullets. So uh, we'll get back with you here in a minute. Time's running out. It's getting uh, getting dark quick and drizzling rain. End of the Arkansas dig. Uh, Spent about two and a half hours dodging thunderstorms, but uh, some pretty good finds came out of here today. Unfortunately, we found the hot spots late in the day. Uh, some of the highlights are, are John's bat wing, which is John, how, what's that number three for you? Number two. Two. Doug got one too. That's his first. And some knapsack hooks. And uh, so we had a lot, of, a lot of different things. There's that little lead seal that uh, JJ found. He got some knapsack, knapsack part. This is a uh, end of a bar that they made that led uh, bullets out of. So uh, all in all, not a not a bad hunt. This is not a virgin site by any means, and a lot of stuff was deep.